Oh my God, I am so excited that you want to do this. Oh I God. know what this means to you. And this is going to be just as wonderful for you, I promise. <laughs> you are going to adore this child. You are. <laughs> God, you are. <laughs> They put together a press kit? Yes, it's all taken care of. But why, why bother? I mean, it's Bill Spencer's press conference. Yeah, well, it's, it's ours until we turn over the reins. You don't have to do this, Eric. Well, it's our press conference, and we're going to follow protocol, just like always. All reporters are in the building. Dad, could I speak to you for a minute? Yeah, sure. He refuses to buckle. It's not his style. This is killing him, but he's not going to show it. Look, just so you know, Spencer proposed to Katie Logan. Oh, they're engaged in that? Yeah, I just found out a little while ago. That's another announcement they're going to make. Do we have to be around for this? Yes, yes we do, and we're going to handle this. We're going to handle this with class and dignity. It's still our company. We're not going to forget who we are. Big debut. Yep. You're ready for this. I know. Why are you so pensive? I'm not. I'm I'm focused. <sighs> Katie. Hi. So, hi. It's you, huh? You're the you're the man now. Uh, the woman, Rocco. Right, right. Um, a little friendly reminder. Sure. Foresters have been doing it better than anybody. I'm well aware of that. Thanks. Good. Well, you look beautiful. Thanks. Is his name really Rocco? <laughs> yeah, they're probably waiting for us. We should go in. Right Hi. Hi, honey. Well, I hear congratulations are in order. Thank you. Are we all set up? The press is on its way. Yeah. Well, let's go over the schedule. You must be nervous. No, I, I've dealt with these reporters when I was working in PR. I'm fine. Well, you're CEO now, Katie. What's your point? Just remember the promise we made. We run the company, and you take the lead. You don't have to remind me. Of course I don't. We have faith in you. We trust you implicitly. Well, what was that for? And that? You seem a little preoccupied. Oh. Yeah, well, um... It's about your mom? Why do you say that? I don't know, because she seemed really weird with Jack today. You noticed? Yeah, she normally grabs him right out of my hands, but she was standoffish. I think she's having trouble with children in general right now. So you are on board about having this baby. I mean, do you want to talk about it? Oh, there's nothing to talk about, is there? You are going to get what you want so much, a child. But this is what you want too, right? I want is to see you this happy for the rest of your life. What changed your mind? You. I've never loved anyone the way that I love you. I could never deny you anything that you want so badly. Thank you. Spencer's big media day tomorrow. We wanted to invite some of our special friends from the press to explain the changes that are going on here at Forster Creations. These changes will keep the company strong and also keep us on top of American fashion design. We are pleased to announce our new partnership, 
We have merged with the wonderful Spencer Publications. Thank you for that generous introduction, Brooke. Uh, first of all, I just want to clarify. Forrester Creations is now a fully owned division of Spencer Publications. Eric and Ridge will continue to head my design team. All the personnel will remain the same, with one uh, noteworthy exception. I am extremely pleased and proud to announce the promotion of Katie Logan to Chief Executive Officer of Forrester Creations. Katie, would you come up here? Thank you. Thank you very much. I will forgo any opening statement. I'm sure you all have questions, and I'm here to answer them. Jared. Firstly, congratulations, Katie. Thank you. I assume that this honor has been bestowed on you because of your brilliant PR campaign for the royalty line. Well, the royalty line was a success, uh, in part to my PR campaign, but really largely due to the beautiful designs from Ridge and Eric. Their creativity and their artistry has been the bedrock of this company's success, and it will be in the future. Can I ask about that ring on your finger, Katie? You weren't wearing it the last time you met with the press. <laughs> Um, Katie and I are engaged to be married. And no, that is not why she was appointed CEO. Katie is an exceptional talent, and I have no doubt that she is going to lead Forrester into a very bright future. My fiancé's confidence in me is very flattering, but the major players who will lead Forrester into the future are standing right here in this room. Ridge, Eric, my sisters, Donna and Brooke, all of us. If that's the case, it's surprising that either Ridge or Eric wasn't named CEO. Why were you chosen in preference to one of them? They certainly have the experience, which, with all due respect, Katie, you don't. So Owen wants a baby, really. And my mother doesn't. But she's really good with Jack. Being a grandparent and being a parent are two different career paths, honey. Huh. She's raised her child. She's still raising him, if you ask me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I think that they will work it out. They're crazy about each other. She's never been happier. Then she's going to make that sacrifice, because that's just what you do when you love somebody. Hey, baby, come here. Take a look at these. I picked out a few of them. I think I know you're going to love, like I said. So come here and tell me what you think. What do you think here? Huh? Well, they all look like me, really, don't they? I mean, they've got the same eye color and the same skin tone. Oh, I guess I, uh, I know what I like. Yeah, you do. Like, listen, if we could have a baby the old-fashioned way, it'd look just like you. <laughs> the old-fashioned way. The old-fashioned way. It doesn't matter, though. Whatever he or she looks like, it's going to be epic. And if it's a boy, I'm going to teach him how to surf. I'm going to teach him how to golf. And if it's a girl, I'm going to teach her how to surf. I'm going to teach her how to golf. <laughs> I'm just... I don't know. I'm just so ready for this. I'm glad you are, too. Oh, you are the sweetest man. You're going to make the best father. I know that I'd do anything. I would make any sacrifice to make your dream come true. And it is coming true. Thanks to you. I just can't. Honey, honey, yeah. honey, your mother loves Owen Ugh. very, very much, and he wants a child. I don't think she's going to deny it. But him. still, it's a huge commitment. I mean, a child at her age? My God, I, I can't even imagine what that would put her through. She'd have to turn her entire life around. I, I just feel like slapping this guy. I do. I feel like slapping him around. Knock some sense into him. But he is young. It's understandable he'd want his own family, so conflicted. So what do you think Jackie's going to do? She's crazy about this guy. She loves to see him happy. I've never seen anything like it. I have. And I think she's going to make the sacrifice. Hey, 
is really affecting you, isn't it? I can already see you holding your child. Mm -mm -mm. Our child. You do know how much I adore you, don't you? Listen, you know how grateful that I am. Listen, I... I just, I don't know, I need this, Jackie. I need it. I wish I didn't because I know that this is... It's a lot to ask, but... Listen, I love you so much for that. So much. ask why Katie was appointed CEO. Yes, instead of Eric or Ridge, names synonymous with Forrester Creations. I'd like to answer this, if you don't mind. Of course. With the vast resources of Spencer Publications, this company's future has never looked brighter. Eric and Ridge are heads of our design team. Their hands are obviously going to be very full. The day-to-day -day operations of the company is something that I can take off their plates. But as issues come up, as the they do in any corporation. Who has the final decision? Jarrett, as in any corporation, the CEO has the final word. So if Eric and Ridge take a different position from Katie, say on some issue of design, Katie's decision would trump theirs. I really don't see that happening, Clayton. Eric and Ridge are two of the most talented designers on the planet. I've never disagreed with them in the past. I don't see why I would now. The corporate culture of Spencer Publications is very different from that of Forrester. Brooke and Donna are your sisters, and Eric and Ridge are your in-laws. Whose side will you be on if there's a difference of opinion? Your future husband or your family? Well, my husband is my family, or soon will be. So you don't want to answer the question. <laughs> Katie, why don't you go on record? Sure, of course. I am loyal to everyone who is involved in this historic company, but ultimately my loyalty must lie with one person. Eric, the founder. With the CEO of our parent company, Bill Spencer, my future husband. Thank you. Thank you all. That'll be all. You made a promise. How could you do this to us? So, you know, I... I don't know. I kind of feel selfish right now. I mean, what I'm asking of you, it just... No. It kind of seems not fair. No, no, no. This is not about fairness. This is about... If you love someone, you just want them to be fulfilled in every way. Listen to Jackie. You're doing this for me. And I want you to do this for us. I want you to be fulfilled, too. I mean, tell me that this child is going to do that for you. I can't. You are going to be a father, darling. You are. But I'm not going to be mother to your child. Wait, wait, what? You know, I just got caught up in your excitement. Your joy was just totally infectious. And for one perfect moment, I did believe that I could do this. But then, wham. reality and what you said about my being beyond it it's true I don't have it in me to raise another child and I, I I wanted more than anything to believe that I could truly I did but I can't die not even for you I just I can't it wouldn't be fair to you it wouldn't be fair to the baby it, it just What are you doing here? Jackie asked me to come over. I'm not sure why. Um, I said that I needed you, didn't I? But that's not quite true. Wait, no, wait. It's Owen who needs you. Hold on, wait. What? 
What is, what is going on here? What, what, what are you talking about? You're very close friends, aren't you? Yes, you are. I've, I've, I've seen it. Well, maybe one day you could be much more. Maybe you would be able to share something with Owen that I will never be able to. Two very special people. <clears throat> I'd like you to consider it. This is not what we signed up for, Katie. Eric, I said what I needed to say as CEO. Don't make this any more difficult than it has to be. Oh, honey, you promised us you'd side with the family. Was I supposed to reveal that to the press? So you lied to them. Is that what it is? I put a spin on things. A spin? Interesting, Katie. We either control this company or we don't. Who is in control here, Katie? You led us to believe that we would be. For the most part, you are. For the most part. We all work for Bill. He owns the company. Well, Katie, you know what you've done here today? You've told the whole world that this company, our traditions, our image in this industry, that it means absolutely nothing. All we are is Bill Spencer's puppets. Well, I, for one, I'm not answering to anybody. Not even little old me? Well, that hurts my feelings. I believe you all signed contracts, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Uh, lucrative, multi-year, ironclad deals. You work for me. Is that clear? It should be clear. We work for no one but ourselves. That needs to be clear to you, Bill. Otherwise, you can find yourself a new design team. Hmm. And where would you go, Eric, you and Rich? Would you seek other employment? Because if that were the case, well, I would uh, have to file an injunction, and you would be enjoined from working anywhere in this industry for the length of your contracts, and that's a long time. So I would think it would be a better idea for you to go back to your offices and do what you do best. Come up with the best line this company has ever seen. You are very talented men, and I respect that. Now, if you think you can just walk away because you don't like being Spencer employees, you're going to regret that. You said that you would stand up for us and you would be loyal and we would have artistic freedom and Forrester would maintain its class and its excellence. And above all, it's independence. But I can see that's not going to be like that. We're your sisters. We're your family, Katie. And you made us a promise. What are you going to do now? Just stab us in the back? I'm going to give you one last chance. At the end of the day, who are you going to be loyal to? Him or your family? 